father time checked. So, have you come up with any new ideas about the thing we're doing? No. Well, I've been doing some looking online and I think carbon monoxide inhalation is a great way for us to go. We can sit in your car, park it in the garage, put on some Etta James, hold hands, and drift off into an eternal slumber. Peaceful, serene. Yeah, I was gonna tell you, my mom's wearing my car tomorrow for a while. Hers is in the shop, so. Okay, um, why don't we jump off the cliff near the beach? That's romantic, right? You know I'm afraid of heights. Yeah, I know. I was just throwing it out there. Um, why don't we shoot ourselves? Quick, painless. You, you what, with a gun? You, where are you gonna get a gun? You gonna buy a gun? <laughs> Do you know what the gun control laws are like nowadays? You know how many hoops you have to jump through? No guns. I don't think this is such a good idea anymore. What is it? Us killing ourselves. And why is that? I don't know, I was just thinking about other people and how it would affect them, like Andy. You know, he's only 12 and our parents' divorce is still fresh in his mind. If, if I died, he'd be devastated. And what about your mom? What about your mom? You, you're pretty much all she has, so if you were gone, she'd be completely alone. She'd be fine. You think she'd be fine? What about us? What about what we want? We've already gone through this. Eventually, you're gonna get tired of me, and I'll get tired of you, and we'll argue about the pettiest things, and then we'll have a child who grows up in a broken home because all we'll do is argue, and then the divorce will break him, and he'll become a serial killer. Whoa, that, that's a little extreme. Yeah, well, life's a little extreme sometimes. Do you think Ted Bundy's mom knew she was going to give birth to a serial killer? She was probably like, oh, I can't wait for you to grow up and become a regular, upstanding, non-homicidal citizen. I just don't think the future has to be all doom and gloom like that, okay? Isn't the divorce rate like 50%? Humans live long enough now that they surpass the expiration date of love love with the same person anyhow. What about the other 50%? Yeah, they're married, but are they happy? I, I don't know. Ask them. Their, their happiness depends on them, just like our happiness depends on us. Together, me and you, not some imaginary timer. Did you just want to go with the knife thing again? You're into that, right? Was I? I can't believe we're doing this right now. I just love you so much. I love you too. This is for you. And this is for me. So, so how are we going to do this? We're just going to stab each other at the same time. Yeah, I get that part, but but what's the what's the technique to this? Like, am I going to stab you like this or like this? Oh, okay, Norman Bates. Well, I don't know. I'm just trying to figure out the most effective way to do this. we got to do it with one strong strike. I just don't want to be standing here all night stabbing each other. How about we just hug each other and do it? You know, like in the movies, where they embrace and you see their face over the other person's shoulder. And then their expression turns to shock, and they get this sour look on their face and they die. And they never see it coming. No, that's the betrayal step. I'm not, I don't want to betray you. Why not? I think it's sweet. Sweet? Your idea of sweet still confuses me to this day. Well, do you have a better idea? Okay. We need to generate a strong stabbing force. So jump onto my knife 
and stab me at the same time. Okay? Oh. You can do this. What if I miss? What do you mean miss? I might miss. No, no, don't miss. What if I stab you like this? <laughs> that's not gonna kill me and that's gross. Although I know it'd be painless because you were doing that to me last night and I couldn't feel a thing. Oh, okay, now, now I'm really gonna <laughs> kill you. This isn't working. Yeah. Uh, it's pretty clear we didn't really think this through. Let's, let's brainstorm a little bit more and then we'll come back to it later, okay? Okay. I thought we had a pact. Yeah, we did, I'm, I'm sorry. Look, I love you. Okay, I just can't do this. Em. Emily. Here you are, enjoy. Thanks. Goodbye. Closer. Don't do that, Emily. And put the knife down. If I kill myself, would you follow me? Honestly, yeah, I would. But I'd much rather have us be alive. You asked me earlier what we had to look forward to. And I'm still waiting for an answer. Well, I don't really have a good answer for you, but I had a random thought on the way over here that being old would be really fun, you know? Remember when we were at the park the other day, sitting on the bench, and then that old guy walked right by in front of us, and he farted really loud and kept going? That was pretty funny. Yeah, well, I was curious to see his reaction, whether he was, like, embarrassed or laughed it off or whatever, and the guy didn't give a shit. That's what his reaction was. He didn't care. He was totally unfazed. Maybe he didn't even know he farted, but either way, it's great. What's your point exactly? My point is... My point is that I want to be that old guy. Okay, I want to be that old guy, and I want you to be that old guy with me. Nothing would give me more pleasure than for us being old, walking around the park, farting, and not giving a shit. That, and I think our kids would be cute as hell. And I want to see them. So put down the knife. Okay? So just, just give me the knife, okay? It's gonna be fine. Okay? It's gonna be 
<laughs> What's this? Oh my. Dear loved ones, if you're reading this, it means I have already made my exit from this world and I'm now sleeping among the stars. Elliot, that's me. I have gone ahead of you, and I know you'll join me soon so we can be together in this ethereal world. Can you not read my suicide letter? It's embarrassing. Love, Emily. No, that's not. This is good. This is, you know, published Shut material. Up. It's gonna be okay. I mean, if it looks like we're headed towards the rocks next year. Then we'll kill ourselves.